Hello, I'm Morgan Allison, Application Engineer for Tektronix. Today we're going to discuss digital demodulation. Although these concepts are common to almost any vector signal analyzer that provides digital demodulation capabilities, I'll be demonstrating using SignalView PC and the RSA 507A. Digital demodulation is valuable for those who need to validate or characterize the quality of a digital communication channel. Measurements such as error vector magnitude, or EVM, can tell you a lot about the quality of a digital comm signal, and constellation diagrams provide a good visual representation of how well the measured signal matches the ideal signal. I have a vector signal generator connected to my RSA, and it is playing out a digitally modulated signal. In this case, a 20 MHz, 16 QAM signal centered at 1 GHz, playing out a very specific data pattern. From preset in SignalView PC, I'll set my center frequency to 1 GHz to match my carrier. Because the signal only has a 20 MHz symbol rate, my 40 MHz span and 300 kHz RBW are just fine. Next, I'll click Select Displays and go to the General Purpose Digital Modulation section and add Constellation, Signal Quality, and Symbol Table. Let's take a look at the constellation diagram first. This diagram shows the signal as a function of its baseband components, I on the horizontal axis and Q on the vertical axis. This display shows the ideal decision points of the digital modulation scheme as gray crosses and places dots that correspond to the symbol points from your signal on the display. If those symbol points fall directly on the decision points, you've got a very clean signal. If there's no relation between the symbol points and decision points, it's very likely that there's an incorrect setting in SignalView PC, there's no signal present, or your signal is essentially garbage. Let's set up SignalView PC to demodulate our signal correctly. Select the Constellation display and click Settings. The Modulation Params tab contains the primary settings that need to be set based on the signal being analyzed. These settings are fairly consistent across most VSA software packages. Since we're looking at a 20 MHz 16 QAM signal, we will choose 16 QAM from the Modulation Type dropdown, and then enter 20 MHz into the Symbol Rate field. The measurement filter and reference filter will depend on your transmitter, and generally you know the type of filter and its filter parameter, sometimes known as roll-off or alpha. My measurement filter is root raised cosine, and my reference filter is raised cosine with an alpha of 0.35. After I've changed these parameters to match my signal, my constellation diagram now looks correct, with 16 dots sitting right on the 16 qualm decision points. Let's take a look at the signal quality display. At the top of the table, we see EVM, which measures how far off our signal is from the ideal signal of a given modulation type. EVM is measured in both percentage and dB. In both cases, high EVM values correspond to poor signal quality. There are further breakdowns of the reported EVM values lower down in the table, and they are often used to trace the symptoms of bad signal quality back to the root causes. Note that the basic EVM in percentage is also shown in the constellation diagram. The symbol table display shows the demodulated symbol values from the captured signal. If you know what message is being transmitted by your signal, you can check it here. There are many other useful digital demodulation displays like eye diagram, error values versus time, trellis diagram, and even demodulated IQ versus time for those who want to tear apart their signal from the bottom up. There is a lot of digital signal processing that goes on in the background for digital demod, so be patient if you're analyzing really long records with an underpowered PC or an old system if you're using a different instrument or software. In Tektronix systems, you do have control of the analysis time in either the Time Overview display or in the Analysis Time tab in the Settings panel for any digital DMOD display. If your signal is pulsed, 
you can use the burst detection feature to only analyze the signal during the on time of the pulse. You can find this setting in the Find tab in the Settings panel. You may have to fiddle with the threshold and analysis time values. A pulse detection algorithm is running behind the scenes and it does require some pre-pulse and post-pulse data to execute properly. You can turn on the equalizer to correct for the frequency response of your transmitter or signal path. The equalizer is generally used to mimic the behavior of a receiver and can actually mask some problems with your transmitter if used incorrectly. Be careful, just because it gives you a better number doesn't mean it's correct. SignalView PC can determine if a specific data pattern is present in the symbol table using the sync word search feature. In the Find tab under Settings for any digital DMOD display, check the box, enter the desired symbol values, and either run or replay the measurement. If the sync word you entered is present in the signal, it will show up as bold in the symbol table. This video provided a basic overview of the digital demodulation capabilities in SignalView PC. Thanks for watching!